Next we crochet the body part of the fox. For this part we crochet with orange yarn and a 2.5 mm hook 2-0. Next we will explain in detail how to crochet each round. Work into a magic ring first. In the first round, we crochet 6 single crochet stitches. After crochet, take off the loops, tighten them, and make a slip stitch in the first stitch. Here our first round is done. Create a standing stitch. The second round is crocheted with a total of 6 single crochet increases, which means that each stitch will be crocheted with 2 single crochet stitches. And this round ends with a total of 12 stitches. Let me show you. The rest should be completed by the viewer. Finally, remove the marker clasp and make a slip stitch. Here we are done with the second round. Create a standing stitch first. In the third round, we group one single crochet stitch and one single crochet increase together and repeat this group six times, resulting in a total of 18 stitches. We show you how to crochet one single crochet stitch. And then crochet one single crochet increase. The rest should be completed by the viewer. Finally, remove the marker clasp and make a slip stitch. Here we are done with the third round. Create a standing stitch first. In the fourth round, we group two single crochet stitches and one single crochet increase together, and repeat this group six times, resulting in a total of 24 stitches. We show you how to crochet two single crochet stitches, and then crochet one single crochet increase. The rest should be completed by the viewer. Finally, remove the marker clasp and make a slip stitch. Here we are done with the fourth round. Create a standing stitch first. In the fifth round, we group three single crochet stitches and one single crochet increase together and repeat this group six times, resulting in a total of 30 stitches. Now we start crocheting.
OK, we are done with our set. Next, please crochet on your own. Remove the marker clasp and make a slip stitch. Here we are done with the fifth round. Create a standing stitch first. The sixth round is to crochet a back half single crochet stitches and 30 single crochet stitches. Let's look at the position of the back half stitch. You can see there is a V-shape. The stitch close to us is the front half stitch. And away from us is the back half stitch. Now we are crocheting 30 single crochet stitches of back half stitch. Notice that we put the crochet hook inside and it's the same as crocheting a single crochet stitch. But we pick up the inner half of the stitch away from our half. Then we wrap the yarn around and thread it through so that a single crochet stitch of back half stitch away from us is complete. Then please crochet on your own. After crocheting, remove the marker clasp and make a slip stitch. Here we are done with the sixth round. Create a standing stitch first. In the seventh to tenth rounds, we simply crochet 30 single crochet stitches without increasing or decreasing. Now let's start crocheting. And please finish the 7th 10th rounds on your own. Remove the marker clasp and make a slip stitch. Here we are done with the 10th round. Create a standing stitch first. In the 11th round, we group 3 single crochet stitches and 1 single crochet decrease together, and repeat this group 6 times, resulting in a total of 24 stitches. Now let's start crocheting. The rest should be crocheted on your own. Remove the marker clasp and make a slip stitch. Here we are done with the 11th round. Create a standing stitch first. In the 12th round, we simply crochet 24 single crochet stitches without increasing or decreasing. This round end with 24 stitches. Now let's start crocheting and please finish the, the rest on your own. Remove the marker clasp and make a slip stitch. Here we are done with the 12th round. Create a standing stitch first. In the 13th round, we group two single crochet stitches and one single crochet decrease together and repeat this group six times, resulting in a total of 18 stitches. Now let's start crocheting. Our one set is complete, and the rest should be crocheted on your own. Remove the marker clasp and make a slip stitch.
Here we are done with the 13th round. Leave the yarn out and cut it. The body part of the little fox is finished.